this is it. It's just a huge parking lot. This shouldn't have taken us hours to figure out, but no one knew where to direct us. So we knew coming to Egypt that climate protesters would be restricted and that there would be a designated demonstration zone. So we tried to find it. All we found were obstacles. Do you know where the like, protest zone is? The protest zone is where? And take a bus? Uh, yeah. We might have found it. Just kidding, that was a restaurant. He has people on the ground. Not many people know that it even exists. We've been waiting around 10 and 15 minutes for this ghost bus. To not waste time, we decided to walk in the general direction we thought it was in and texted other people to see if they had information. The bus never showed up. We've been walking about 15 minutes. We can't find it. We're gonna go grab some McDonald's. Side note, Egypt has a McChicken Big Mac. That was good. Finally caught a bus. Just got a text saying the designated protest area is actually in the green zone. I was very annoyed to know that we had to go back to where we started, but eventually I calmed down. Right outside the blue zone and we're gonna walk all the way to the green zone. I think we see it. It took us about 15 minutes. It's literally where we started. The place was empty, which is so sad because compared to last year's COP26, there were demonstrators everywhere able to express themselves freely. And it's something so important to a climate conference. I will say the Guardian and the New York Times make it a little dramatic saying that this space is far away from any signs of life. The blue zone is about a 15 minute walk. There are people all around. At the end of the day, it was just a four hour long wild goose chase. Don't get me wrong, there have been demonstrations here. However, Egypt's attempt to place restrictions is very clear.